Every month, we pick one lucky commenter and subscriber from all of our unboxings, and they win a £100 on Tabletop gift card. And remember to click that little bell, because that really helps us out. Hi everybody, it's Justin from On Tabletop. I'm joined by John. Say hello, John. Hello, John. <laughs> and we're having a look at some Flames of War. So, mm -hmm. what have we got today? We have the Valentine Tank Company. Do you want to check out the box? Oh, yeah. Now, this is a unit that I've been told is actually pretty good to run in the current edition of Flames of War because they're super cheap yep. and they're good enough to kill other stuff. Right, okay. At least that's, that's what I've been told. So if I'm wrong, comments below. Yeah. Uh, having a look at the back, nice simple box. So you've got your built version and it's showing you what you're building from the box. Although this does build a couple of different variants of the Valentine, which I find quite nice. You get five in the box. Mm-hmm. There you go. Don't need that. All right, so what we get in here is some stat cards. Now, I think these are probably the older ones. I'm not sure if these are repacked to 4th edition yet. I think this... Yeah, you do have the, the Soviet deck that brings all your mid-war stuff yep. up to Absolutely. the current edition. Yeah. So we have... <laughs> we, have <laughs> we have the card that wants to fly. Yeah. Not unlike a flying tank that was invented. Ah, uh, don't even start. Mm -hmm. Isn't it the Russians did that one? Yeah. Uh, all right, let's have a quick gander around this through. So, first up, we have our tracks. Mm -hmm. Lower hull, upper hull. The detail on the tracks is quite nice. It and is. It's interesting to see the suspension on this one is two sets of three bogies. Oh, it's such a weird tank. Everything about the Valentine is just weird. Mm -hmm. But anyway, continue. Yep, we've got a couple of different types of gun mantlet here. Mm -hmm. uh, we've then got a bit of stowage, spare fuel tank, just in case you want to put one on the outside, which uh, we discovered is a good idea. Yep. Closed hatches and open hatches for the different turret types. And then we've got three different turret tops here. So we've mm -hmm. got one with a square hatch, one with a round hatch, and one with a, I don't know what you would call that hatch. A, a square open hatch. A, a lozenge ship hatch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we also get some side skirts if you want them. Uh, you've got all the hatches, a bit of spare track here. Uh, you've got two pegs for the turret so you can build both turret types. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's it, aside from the two types of turret bottom. Well, you've missed the smoke launchers. Oh, there's smoke launchers? Yes, there's smoke launchers. Okay. Uh, oh, this? Yeah. Okay, this is a smoke launcher. Yes, it is. It launches smoke. Uh-huh. Right. Give me the built one. Because oh I, I did build one of these last night. Because there's five in the box, I was able to just get one ahead of time. Yeah. These are cute as sin when you put them together. They are a nice-looking little tank, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, they're, they're probably one of the, the British-built, well, the better British-built tanks of the mm -hmm. war. Uh, next to, uh, to Matilda II. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, like I, I can see some of the British design aspects in here. I mean, like looking at the the rear engine deck here, these are radiators, aren't they? They're they're louvers that cover the radiators and the cooling fans. Yeah, I remember. I think we watched something from the the tank museum on a, a walk around of this particular vehicle. Not that one, no. We wa no? we watched one on um, Covenanter, where it's where you're getting the louvers from ah. because Covenanter had them in the front, which was a yeah terrible, terrible design choice. Right, rules wise. Rules wise, because. Do you want the tank company? Uh, um, do, yes. you want, do you want the points cost of the tank company? Do you want to explain yeah. how cheap these things are? Yeah, because I mean, like, if you're going to run these, you could run how many max? Uh, well, uh, on this card it says you can run a group of seven. <laughs> how much? Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you that yet. Oh. Uh, so four is six points. Okay. Five is eight points. Six is nine points. Uh huh. And seven is eleven points. That's Pretty dirt cheap. You could run maybe three or four of those as maybe five groups. Yeah. You know, as a five tank strong group. Yeah. You could run maybe three, four of those, maybe even five of those quite comfortably. Any special rules? Uh, duh, duh, duh. No HE. Okay. This, this is a, a, a curse from having a tank that is equipped with the British two pounder gun. Yeah. They did not make HE shells for these things. Well, and when they did, they were crap. But hand, didn't they have HE for anti tank guns? Yes. It would have fit at this gun, but they never issued them? Well, mm, or was it a different shell type? A possibly a different shell type, I do not know. Okay. Um, so no, oh, H no HE targeting infantry or guns. Mm -hmm. um, adds plus one to the score needed to hit. Okay. So you're firing at something, you're firing at infantry yeah. with something that's designed to hit something a lot bigger. And because so it's. One big bullet. Yeah, it's a, it's a big bullet. So uh, the two pounder is like a 37 millimeter. Yeah. So it's like yeah. that. And you're trying to hit infantry with something that size, and they so, could be three, four, or five hundred meters away. Yeah, so you'll be lucky to hit somebody. If you hit one person, the rest of the people around them are going to go, Oh my god! Yeah. But they'll not be dead. 
Yeah. So okay. <laughs> they'll be okay. Uh, the other one is no MG. No MG. This, this is on the Valentine six pounder gun. Mm -hmm. uh, does not have an MG, so okay. it has no MG fire. Okay. Uh, overworked plus one to hit from uh, for moving rate of fire. I see. All right, give me the card. So down the bottom we have some options. You can replace up to half of the Valentine two, two pounder pounders. with six pounders mm -hmm. for an extra point. Yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, I would do that too. But you're you're losing a machine gun. And machine guns, particularly in World War Two, when you have a lot of infantry floating around, machine guns are handy. Yeah, well, let's see. The MG is 16-inch range, rate of fire 3, halt it or moving, anti-tank 2 you're not caring about, but firepower 6, eh. I mean, anti-tank 2, you're yeah. still threatening the likes of half-tracks. Yeah, maybe a little armoured car or something. Yeah. The 6-pounder is a good kick-up, though. It is. Anti-tank 7 to 10. Yep. Uh, mm, you'd kind of want to be sitting still with this to get the two shots out of it. It's the same with the two pounder, though, really. Yeah. Uh, they're green for their skill, they're aggressive, so they're easy to hit. They're confident, so they're not too bad for actually getting back into the tank. Yep. Uh, front armor six, side five, top one. Top one is poo. Well, top one is probably on most tanks of the, the same period, so. Yeah. Your cross, kind of... cross check's pretty good at a three plus. Yeah, the cross check's pretty good. Um, but remember that these tanks weren't fast mm. in reality. They were infantry tanks, so they yeah. had to be a bit slower. So their crossing ability was really down to the torque of the engine rather than the skill of the driver. Mm. I, I quite like the stats on this. I think it's a good tank, and I think I might add like a unit of five of them just to test them out. So that would cost only eight points. Yeah. And five in the box. Yeah, so it's an eight-point box. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. All right, everybody, I'll tell you what, get your comments in below. Do you run Valentines in your Soviet forces for Flames of War? Myself and John will move on. We'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.